most of the work in this question we did at the logical uh, point in time and that was when we first accessed Core Manager in question 1.2 what happened was we activated our services at the same time we were doing our DHCP server on UCM but just as a recap we went into uh, oh, sorry, yeah, serviceability. We activated services on the pub and the sub. Uh, we unchecked the services we didn't want to run. And then we went down a system server, system UCM, system UCM group. In the UCM group, we put the sub ahead of the pub. That's our primary call processing agent. We didn't enable auto registration. Uh, because we're not actually registering phones in this lab, that will be in lab 2. In the server we put the IP addresses in to remove uh, dependency on DNS. Um, and So if you want to go and see me walk through that, just go and look at question 1.2, the walkthrough there. Uh, the there. Uh, a couple more things that we probably have been asked to do here. It's the date time group. We had the NTP reference from earlier in this lab for SIP phones the NTP reference here and we've been asked to create two date time groups we'll call this one uh, PST this is Greenwich Mean Time minus 8 we can uh, you may get a picture in the lab or we may actually tell you to modify the format maybe you're using 12 hour maybe you're using day month in the UK they use day month year as opposed to month day year we also drive on the left hand side of the road whereas in the US you drive on the right hand side of the road okay you got dashes that was completely irrelevant to this discussion by the way uh, what else do we have so let's, let's just rename the default to PST and let's copy that one create one for the eastern time zone which is minus five and again, we we have we can modify that uh, the twelve hour date time format, etc. And we've got the phone NTP reference, and this is used as a reminder for SIP phones. Save that, and always don't don't forget to to, to copy. We've all been there. We forget to copy. We just change it, and we save it. And that way, we've just overwritten a single date time group. Copy, and always just confirm whenever you run calling search spaces, partitions, wherever you are in future in core manager just always make sure that you list whatever you're listing wrap patterns whatever whatever it is that you're copying because it's very common I see it all the time in boot camps people forget to hit the copy button they put the new information in and save it they're just overwriting their configuration we would then assign these to the device pools let's just call default HQ and that's got the PST date time group in again copy branch 1 Eastern and when the phones come and register we're going to obviously assign the appropriate uh, device pool to the branch 1 and HQ phones work our way down again enterprise parameters and inside here we have well it's it's useful just to put in to remove our DNS reliance put in the IP address of our publisher rather than use the host name now it's not uh, entirely necessary with the newer firmware newer phones uh, to do this but it's just good practice anyway the reason is version core manager 7 on the latest firmware on the 7900 phones directories are not provisioned are, are provisioned as a as a, uh, a built-in service that's created on inst installation of core manager so if I go to device device settings phone services and I'll be able to see that the corporate directory, intercom, miss calls, personal directory, post calls, receive calls, voicemail, these are all 
built-in IP phone services and we they do not they do not use phones do not use the directory's URL at least the ones with the latest firmware do not use the directory's URL anymore but I just put it in there because what am I losing